Good morning, everyone. I'm back down here in the back 40 woodlot. And my dad and I came out this morning and started bucking up all those logs that we pulled out in the uh, other video. He actually pulled a few more out while I was gone. So uh, I'll put a link to that video up there if you want to see us pulling these logs out. But I uh, came down, did some bucking as you can see, made a little mess of some rounds laying all over. So now we're going to do some splitting. So what we do, let me show you here one second. So what we do is we use this little, little new Holland tractor and we'll go through and load up the bucket with some rounds and then we bring that over to the splitter and then from the splitter we load them into the back of the gator and haul them home and stack them so he just loaded up those rounds right there while I was finishing up bucking and now we'll drive that over to the splitter and then like I said split right into the back of the gator and then we'll go on to the next little adventure down on the ranch in the back 40. Stay tuned everyone. Oh first pull the old woodhound ready to go. And there we go, a loader bucket full, and the back of the gator full. A nice little morning out in the woods.
Just some more wood stacking in. One of this is one of the uh, storage areas that we use down here in the farm. Used to be an old. Uh, we used to have calves on here. Um, but yeah, now it's a perfect wood storage shed. It um, it's got this this side over here is open to the south, and then it's got a nice east or west east. Uh, that's usually where the wind's blowing up here from. So it blows through here, dries the wood real good. So just a little more, a little more prepping with the firewood. There's a good shot. You can see the light coming through. Good airflow in that stack right there. So that'll dry down good, but this may, this may be another year and a half, two years out before we get to using this stuff up. So we're back here um, to pull out the rest of that big white oak that we pulled out a couple last weekend, I guess, or last week. I'll put the link to the video to that up there, but uh, back here to get the top out. Um, and as luck would have it, on the way back here, my tripod mount broke. So may not be a lot of footage of this. Everything I'm gonna have to just hold by, do by hand, holding. <laughs> things here so I don't know how much more footage I will get of this but uh, we gotta hook up a cable and pull it out so get ready He's a big old snarly guy, isn't he? A lot of limb wood hanging there. We'll trim him up once we get up here. It's a little easier to work on him. All right, so that completes this firewood rescue. There he is, there's the bottom part of it, and then here's the rest of the top. So we got him here alongside the field where it's easy access to come back here and buck him up. All right, so the old woodhound, Senior, <laughs> he, uh, he told me he's went out and scouted out a few more trees. So we're gonna go take a look at those and see uh, what kind of potential firewood they have. See what these, see what he found out scouting the woods. So let's go check that out. First, there's this big oak with this top <laughs> broke off, and the top is laying right there. And then there's another one with his top snapped off right there. And the best part is, it's right on this trail. For, for easy, easy access. Yeah, this is a snowmobile trail in the winter. But until the snow flies, we might make it a logging trail. A little further up the trail, another standing dead oak with, again, there's the trail, there's the tree. Yeah, it's like <laughs> meant to be. Super handy. <laughs> A little further up the trail, about 20 yards, <laughs> there's two, two more standing dead there good sized tree and right on the trail 
one with the grapevine on. Too bad. This one. And next to him, another one. And on the other side of the trail, another one. So that's one, two, three, four, five trees all about within 20 yards of each other. And then there's another one that snapped off. And the final one before the end of the trail, standing alone, just begging to be taken down for firewood. And there's actually another little, another snapped off stem behind them. So two more right there. Woo! So we have more firewood to take down and harvest up. Otherwise, you're just gonna go to waste. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna do it. I'm back home here now after uh, being down on the ranch. Like I said, my tripod broke, so I didn't get to do too much more filming. Got some shots of those standing dead oaks that the old woodhound scouted out, and a few of them other storm damaged trees down there. Hopefully we're gonna get those out in the coming weeks. Get those bucked up, split up, and added to maybe next year's inventory, or, you know, I don't know, just the future stash. So, one thing I wanted to show you here, just check this out, one second. So, one of my very first videos that I ever made, um, I split up this basswood that had blown down in the neighbor's yard, and those two pieces right there on top of the fire are those pieces from that are pieces from that tree so they have been they were split i think middle of july maybe so july august september a little over two months is all they seasoned but it's burning not too bad so by next year it for sure will be ready to burn yeah, I was surprised. I just want to test this to see. I mean, I split them small. There's no bark on them. So, I mean, they are going to dry out pretty fast. But, yeah, two and a half, almost three months seasoning and basswood is ready to burn. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. We're going to kick back here and just enjoy the evening, relax by the fire, and, uh, yeah, just have some fun. So, you guys, I hope you do the same. Have some fun, um, stay safe, and of course, always be cool. See you next time, woodhounds.